Good day, everybody. Meteorologist Robert Spetta here with WesternPacificWeather.com. It is currently the 7th of May, 2011. In the afternoon here, approximately 1700 Philippine time. That's uh, right around 09 Zulu for those of you worldwide out here. And we are closely watching this uh, tropical storm now, a uh, tropical storm airy. Uh, it's Philippines still or out of Bagasa. Still have it as a tropical depression, tropical depression. But being here, uh, located at approximately 330 nautical miles east southeast of Manila, current winds out of it per JTWC are. Uh, 35 gusting up to 55 knots there. It's kind of differing between agencies right now, but that's uh, from JTWC with that warning is showing. And it is moving off towards the northwest at about 5 to 10 knots. All the agencies are agreeing on that as it moves off towards the uh, northwest of the background flow around he out here, uh, just uh, basically southwest of this anticyclonic circulation uh, from the Westpac High here that's located just to the northwest of Guam. Now, I do agree with the 35 knots uh, with gusts upwards of 55 knots winds out of this system. Basically, as you can indicate right in here, just east of Samar, these uh, center of circulation right in here from the ASCA imagery pass and just showing a max about 30 to 35 knot winds near the center of the circulation in here and a very evident uh, cyclonic circulation coming out of this. And this is really this ASCA imagery pass is probably one of the main reasons why JTWC upgraded this to Tropical Storm. Also, JMA just upgraded the Tropical Storm as well in the past six hours, thus the uh, storm this uh, system getting a name now of Tropical Storm Airy. Uh, Pegasa still has a tropical depression, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do upgrade this as well in the coming future, overnight tonight especially. As there is some very decent banding coming out of the system here, uh, as indicated on this microwave impasse, you kind of note that uh, only half of it's being shown on the storm. That's because the uh, polar orbit only got half of the pass rate in here on the most recent one, but just showing some higher cloud tops here indicated in the uh, outer banding in here. And this is also indicating some of the heavier precipitation areas, especially over Visayas right in this region, and over Samar particularly, seeing some of the heaviest precip out there. Now, but here showing the wind shear analysis from uh, Sims here, just indicating very light wind shear over the center of the circulation and that's kind of the one reason why this continues to uh, build up here. But as this continues to move off towards the northwest, especially over Luzon, once you start to encounter that more rugged uh, territory out there, and also it's going to continue to encounter a lot of this vertical wind shear over the Luzon Strait here, about 40 to 50 knots of wind shear up in this region associated with the west release. So once it start, continues to move off here, expecting on the uh, evening of the 9th into 10th, we're going to see a rapid de-intensification of the system. But for now, though, it does sit under this pocket of lower wind shear. High vorticity, as indicated on this chart here. The sea surface temperature is above 80 degrees Fahrenheit out here. So all kind of the ingredients for some development out of this system. But noting, I think it's going to have enough time before it continues to encounter that vertical wind shear and also the decreased sea surface temperature. Now, as mentioned earlier today, the main reason why this is going to continue to track off towards the northwest is due to the West Pac High out here and the ridge coming in off of it. There is some weak troughing just north over the Luzon Strait, and that's really where this system is being pulled towards too. As I mentioned in many of my tropical updates, I think of tropicals as water running downhill. They're never going to want to run uphill. So it's always going to look forward to that lower areas of pressure. And basically just north of the system in this kind of troughing right in here is where that lowest area is. As it continues to track off here, it's going to rapidly swing off towards the northeast uh, from, nor from the southwest as it gets caught up in the west release here. That's basically long range out there. And by that time that happens, this is going to be very disorganized and basically uh, not left of what its former self was. But for now though, in the next coming 24 to 48 hours, it will uh, intensify until prior to a landfall here on Luzon and continue to track off towards the northwest. But currently, the highest amount of precipitation, as already indicated, is over Samar and southeastern Luzon here. But over the next 24 to 48 hours, the Manila metropolitan area could also see some increase in precipitation here, especially in some of those low-lying areas as well and some of the squatter villages. The infrastructure is not so well off in a lot of those areas, uh, especially in the Manila area. Um, this could cause for some of the flash flooding as well. So I just do want to mention that that even though the storm is relatively weak to other storms we have seen, still the potential for any casualties, injuries, or uh, damage to households is very high out here. Also do want to mention though, uh, looks like the center of circulation should make landfall along the east coast here, or just off the uh, eastern uh, Sierra Madre Mountains right in this region. With max winds at landfall, tropical storm st strength here, uh, 50 gusting up to 70 knots here. With landfall Monday morning or the morning of the 9th here, along that area I just mentioned here, now this is going to continue to track just the northeast east of Manila in that entire metropolitan area here, but as already mentioned, some of those outer rain bands 
continue to affect the area as well. But also want to uh, mention here is uh, basically uh, Pegasus warning on this system of tropical depression. But being, I know they have a different warning system and different names as well. So many of you in the Philippines know it as this name. Worldwide, though, we are going to know it as ARI or 03W here as it continues to track off towards the northwest. Also indicating a similar track as JMA and JTWC here as well with landfall around approximately the same time. So synaptics down and overall classification and names of the system out of the window. Ever, all the agencies seem to be on the similar track, also showing JMA here. With a similar track as well with landfall on the morning of the 9th, they do have it a little bit slightly off towards the northeast as uh, JM, or JTWC and Bagasa have it with landfall basically upwards of Apari actually, uh, just up here. Uh, a lot of us know as Apari as many of those areas where tropical cyclones do make landfall, so they're very uh, known to have storms out in this region and a tropical storm in Apari is really nothing too exciting out in that region but still not something one should take lightly here but basically as I already noted main concern is the heavy rainfall the winds are kind of secondary in nature and not really expecting too much of a storm surge out of this also noting is some of these higher cloud tops and the thunder tops kind of making landfall here long eastern Luzon there's a potential for some tornadic activity as well as with all land falling uh, tropical storms or uh, hurricanes typhoons out basically all of them you kind of have that general rule with some of those out of rain bands so just want to mention that as well if you're watching this in uh, the Philippines that is one of those other things Things that you could have crossovered all the way even even over towards the Manila metropolitan area and Quezon and all those uh, large cities out in that region. But that's all for right now, everybody. If you want to see some more updates as well, please uh, go to this channel up in here for westernpacificweather.com. That's where I post all my updates here. Also posting this at another site called storm2k.org and uh, pretty much a really good uh, meteorological discussion going on there as well on the storm. Also uh, down here I have my other channel for earthquakes called earthquakereport.com or Quake SOS. And that is dedicated to all the earthquakes out here in this entire region. So uh, that's all for right now. And if anybody has any comments, questions, or suggestions, as usual, you can post them here on YouTube or on the shop box at westernpacificweather.com. So thanks again for listening, and have a great day.